So I was pulled over two times within 10 minutes of one another. There's, there's so many cops, like I said, from uh, Jaffna down to Candy. I'm the first American to ever stay here. I mean, I have not seen one single American since I've been here yeah. in Sri Lanka. So I can always see when they're, when they're cooking corn because I can see some smoke as I'm driving by. And you can actually smell it too. I just met this gentleman on the uh, street corner. Alright guys, I've been driving for 2 hours and 45 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to take a little break. I've been pulled over two times now by police. But I'll tell you guys about that once I get some mangoes here. I'm going to rest here for a little bit. Hi, Buan. Hi, hello. I'm going to get some mango. Oh, let's see. How, how much for mango? 50 rupees. 50 rupees? Yes. Okay. I'll do one, please. One. Yeah, one. One mango, please. I'll eat, I'll eat here. Uh, nice. Stuti, stuti. 15 cents. We get mango. I might get another one in a little bit. Alright. Let's try a little mango here. Mmm. Mm. Good breakfast. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's 1.22. I haven't seemed to be eating till late. Oh, it's okay for you. Oh, thank it's you. okay. Thank you. Stuti, stuti. Stuti, stuti. How are you born? Mm. Yum. Very good. Thank you. Oh, those are pretty. Those are pretty flowers. Those are pretty. Does it smell? Mmm, smells good. I have a little bit of sense of smell still. So I'll tell you about me getting pulled over twice within like 20 minutes of one another. So the first time I was, uh, I was passing a truck and apparently it was a solid white line. It wasn't a, uh, you know, sporadic white line. So, I passed the truck, and I got pulled over. There's been a lot of police on this main road that I've been on, from the north going down to uh, the south. Every, like, every mile, it seems like there's, like, two police officers just standing on the side of the road. So, sure enough, I passed one truck. It was a solid, solid white line. And pull over, and they're like, "Oh, you're gonna get a ticket." I was like, "I was like really, really kind to them, greeted, greeted them, was real friendly." And um, I'm like, "Well, you have to pay one thousand fine over at the post office or something." And I was like, "Well, I was like, can you give me a warning, please? Like, you know, I've been cooperative and." everything like that and they were like oh okay and they gave me my license back and they didn't even check me for my uh, uh, Sri Lanka driving permit but I show them that anyways but after they gave me my license back they were all super super friendly you know where are you from where are you going do you have a wife do you have kids you know just you know chit chatting but, so I left them. They were all super, super cool. They, they let me go just with a warning. And then about 10 minutes later, I was uh, passing, a, passing a bus on the left side. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, as I'm passing, I'm overtaking on the left side. And you drive on the left side. And there was kind of like a bus stop or something on the left with plenty of room to go around the bus. So I tried to do that. Sure enough, as I'm coming passing the the bus, there's two police officers on the other side of the road, on the right hand side. And they're they're standing there, they you know they they wave you down. So I'm like, okay, here we go again. Pull over and 
they're like, oh, you can't overtake on the left-hand side. You know, I show them my, my California driver's license. Again, they, they didn't even ask me for my Sri Lanka driving permit, but I, I showed them that anyways as well. And uh, they're like, oh, you're gonna get a fine, you're gonna get a fine. And uh, I, I was real friendly with them, and sure enough, they, they let me go too. They didn't, they didn't end up writing me a ticket. So I was pulled over two times within 10 minutes of one another. There's, there's so many cops, like I said, from uh, Jaffna down to Candy on this main road. Just like one cop after the next. So apparently there's a speed limit here too. Now, I've been wondering why I've been passing everybody on the road. Apparently it's like maximum is set 70 kilometers an hour, which is like 40 miles an hour. Seems like they're a little bit, they're a lot more strict here from other Asian countries I've been to where it's basically feels like a free for all. You're driving on the sidewalk, um, driving every, every which way, you know, signs and speed limits in other countries are just uh, suggestions where apparently in Sri Lanka they're they're more strict on uh, the rule the rules and regulations of the road so all good it's a beautiful day out here having me a mango I've been off the hook twice so it's a good day just got a little bit of a headache from a slight cold that I have I guess but hopefully we'll be feeling better soon I don't think I'll make it all the way to Candy tonight. It's been a long drive. I'll probably make it to a town called du, uh, Dumbula. And apparently there's a cool temple and some caves there. But I'm gonna get out of this time. It's getting pretty hot. Maybe I'll get another mango. My mango is so good, I'm gonna have another one for 15 cent mangoes. This one we're gonna do a little chili chili powder we're gonna put that on it that mango is so good I got to get another one some nice healthy fruit let's see how we do here Perfect. excellent amazing Stuti thank you let's try it with this chili here mmm oh yeah very good Unbelievable, guys. Well, since we just had some uh, roadside mango, let's uh, go ahead and try out some roadside corn. Ayubuan! Kohomada! Let's uh, show you guys some corn here in Sri Lanka. There's literally like, there's probably thousands of these corn vendors right on the side of the street. Every every mile sometimes there's like 10 within a mile but let's uh, let's go ahead and check it out first off we got some coconuts how you doing go home my dad right on honda honda they got some mango Ooh, these look good these are like little baby mangoes that's pretty cool i think my friend we're gonna do some corn Let's check this out. This is pretty cool. So I can always see when they're when they're cooking corn because I can see some smoke as I'm driving by. And you can actually smell it too. Awesome. How how much for one one piece? How much? Hazura. I don't know Hazura. Is that the one piece is 30? Okay, perfect. 30 rupees. Oh, okay. 80. Okay, that, may, that makes sense. 80. Okay. Yeah, we'll do one, please. Yeah, I just want one corn. So that'd be about, yeah, 25 cents for a piece of corn. It's pretty cool. You got a little umbrella here 
We got some tongs made out of some uh, wood. Oh yeah. And then you give it a nice little rinse. Awesome. Look at that. It's gonna be a perfect little snack. Looks like he's getting another one ready for later. Very cool, my friend. <laughs> Lots of bananas. Let's see what else we got here. I think this is papaya, mangoes, and is this like a guava or something? I'm not quite sure. Guava? Oh, it's all ready for me. Stuti, my friend. Stuti, thank you. Okay. Let's give this a go. Mmm. I can already taste the butter and I haven't even bit into it yet. Oh, thank you. You even got me a nice little chair here. A little roadside snack. Yeah, it's definitely very good. I don't even know if he put butter on it, but it tastes like there's butter on it. I don't think he did, but the corn, the corn here in Sri Lanka is it's got like it's kind of like a rubbery texture to it. Not it, not as juicy as the ones I I get in America. There you go. A little more chewy. It's definitely a different texture when you bite into it. It's still super hot. It was in that boiling water. But here you guys go. Lots and lots of these all over the country. Maybe I'll sit next to my friends over here. And we'll eat together. I'm just going to sit away from the road a little bit. It's kind of loud. Very good. Very good, thank you so much. Thank you. Gotta let it cool down a little more. But we got about 45 more minutes till I get to Dambula. Looking forward to resting there because I've been on the road for like four hours now or something. All right, just finished up that yummy corn. I wanted to give you guys an exact price on what I spent on the two mangoes that I ate a little bit ago. And this corn is a total of 55 cents. That's the price we can get out here. Okay, you ready, my friend? Okay. All right. Wow. Got it. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So Hi. I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you guys how I find hotels when I show up to a town. And what I do is I get on Agoda, look at the areas and the price, and then I show up. I just met this gentleman on the uh, street corner, and he said, "You're, you're the owner." Yeah, yeah. Right here, right here. Look, he's the. Uh, you're the owner. He's like, oh yeah, that's my hotel. So I picked him up, yeah, 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 and now we're going over here to his place. Hello. Hello. Are you going? I'm going. Okay. We made it, my friend. Yeah. Family. That, that's the first time I've ever done that before. Picked up the owner of the hotel that I'm going to. Now we're gonna check out the price. I like to look at the place. And life is good. I'm gonna park here. Hopefully this tuk-tuk doesn't have to go anywhere anytime soon. And this has been working out great. This little phone holder here with directions. I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna go inside and uh, see what kind of room we got. Oh, nice. Nice little hammock here. Hello, Hello sir. I'm here. Okay, my friend. You are from? I'm from America, my friend. Sorry? 
America. America, wow. Yeah, America. A rich country. Yeah, yeah I love, I love yes. this country. Yes, yet no ready. Okay. I will, I will quickly. Okay. I will quickly uh, things. Uh, okay. Finish, what? What's you. what's the pri- what's the price on this room? Yeah. I'm just looking for something cheap. I'm just back cheap yes, backpacker. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know. You know. Uh, without breakfast, okay. Right. Yeah, I don't need breakfast. No, need breakfast. Okay. No, I don't. Need. I don't really eat breakfast anyway. Okay. How much you know? Nor, nor, normally, I normally I find hotels for like two, like two thousand. Yeah, I, I find surely you know. Because, uh, because uh, give me. Uh, Usually I try to find something for two thousand. Uh, air condition, hot shower, everything. Right. Yeah, I think that's too much for me. I'm just looking for something like simple, base, like a basic room. I don't need hot, you know, hot water, or anything well, like that. Um. Uh, I mean, like I said, nor, normally I just yeah. try to find cheap uh, hotels for like two thousand. Two thousand. Uh, I nor I normally try to uh, find for two for two thousand. No, you can give me uh, this place. Last this place because uh, everything expensive. You know, the uh, electricity, water. Really. Uh, everything is yeah. expensive. Cheap air condition. Right. Air condition. Aircon. Can you do two two five or no? Two thousand five hundred. Two five. So you really can't do. Yeah, because. Okay. You know. Okay. Well, may, maybe I'll look around a couple more hotels and may, maybe I come back. Okay, that's okay. Matter. That's matter. That sound okay? Yeah, I'm Maybe I, I might go look at a couple more places then may, maybe I come back. Okay, no problem. Sound good? Yeah. Alright. Stuti, my friend. Stuti. Stuti. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> stay the, here. Who is the my, my girl? My girlfriend. Uh, can I see? My girlfriend. Well, I, I'm recording right now, but I sent I sent I sent her later. Yeah, okay, okay, All okay. right, we found a great hotel here. Thank you guys. <laughs> Stuti, Stuti. <laughs> All right, two thousand seven hundred. So that's like three six nine nine dollars. This is gonna be great. Oh, so happy not to be motorbiking anymore for the day. It was a very long and flat journey. I probably, I don't even think I went up a hill or down a hill today. It was all flat and straight. So, happy the road trip is done for the day. It's 322, started this morning at 1030. So, 1130, 1230, 130, 230, 30. Five hour mission today. And of course, making a couple stops along the way, and unfortunately, making a couple of additional stops because of uh, the police pulled me over twice. But uh, we're here, happy, safe, and this is gonna be great. It's got air conditioning, and I think today maybe I'll have a beer. I haven't drank beer in a few days because I haven't been feeling well, but maybe the beer will start making me feel a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna get unpacked. Check check into the room. Uh, I'm gonna be here till the 27th. 27. So another 15, like nine, 19 days. 19 more days I'm here. Oh, this is gonna be nice. What What's your name? Nima. Nima. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Scott. 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 Yep, okay. Nima. And your name? Jenna. Jenna? Nice to meet you. How you doing? Thank you so much. This is beautiful. I love this. And this is gonna be great. Let's try out this hammock. You think this is strong enough to try? Yeah, yeah, it's strong. Yeah. Okay. I've been in hammocks before, and they've they've gave out. Next thing I know, I'm slamming into the floor. Nice, right, nice. Sri Lanka, we made it. Sri Lanka. So generally when you check in a places, it's real simple. They generally just give you a sheet of paper like this. And you fill out the date, your name, and the country that you're from. Let's go through the countries. It looks like they haven't had anybody for about four days. It's such a nice place, but it's been pretty slow season. We got China, Switzerland, Italy, Croatia, France, Spain. Austria, 
Japan, Poland, Germany, Germany, Czech Republic, Spain, Poland, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, Japan, Japan, Poland, Germany. So it looks like I am the only American. Not one, just first Look, time. Oh my gosh, am I, am I the first American first time, yeah, to, to ever stay in this hotel? Yeah, yeah. No first way. Time. Yeah, first time. Awesome. Very happy, very happy. Awesome. That's very great, happy. that's you, great. You, you, you send the more people. This is unbelievable. Yeah. I'm the first American to ever stay here. I mean, I have not seen one single American since I've been here yeah. in Sri Lanka. Uh, it's just amazing. I, I, I can't believe it. All the Americans out there, they're missing out. Wow, look, all these all these pages here. Not a single American. No, my, my kids is as he... Look. look, it just goes on and on. How many, year, how many years have you six, had six, this? Six years, six years. You, you've had this? Starting... Uh, He's had the hotel six years. Six years ago, to start. Wow, look at that. Look at that, you got 9.7 rating on booking. And in 2020, it was 9.5. Definitely gonna be given five, five star. Yeah. Five star and make review. Thank you. This is unbelievable. Yeah. All right, well, now that, now that we know that I'm the first American to ever be here, I just gotta fill out my passport number. All my American friends out there, you guys got to come to Sri, uh, Sri Lanka and get 55 cent corn, mangoes. This is ridiculous, guys. Come on out. All right. Thank you, Dwight. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I found his hotel on Agoda. Had great, great reviews. And mm -hmm. I was looking for something on my, my budget. So worked out real good to find this place. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>